Who is Tracy? My spirit name is Wabishki Guidin Ikwe, which means White North Wind Woman. It's a, a strong and powerful name, and um, I'm a survivor. I've been a survivor since day one, and I'm 55 and still fighting the good fight. <laughs> I was born here in Fargo, North Dakota, into homelessness. I was raised on the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa Reservation. Rape was the first word I learned how to spell. I went because I heard my mom and them speaking about it, so I went to my grandmother and uh, I said, yeah, I gotta remember these letters, you know? So my very first boyfriend knocked my, my bottom tooth out when I was like 14 years old. Lots of trauma, lots of uh, domestic violence, lots of alcoholism. I always thought like, if I could make it out of where I made it from, like you could make it too. I moved to Portland, Oregon, where I worked in a national model site for criminal justice reform. And through that, I was human trafficked and I, I was a victim of domestic violence. There was a manager there who, I didn't realize it at the time, who, who groomed me. After 20 years of being there, I said, I'm going to give myself a new chance at life. So 2018, I, um, on my 51st birthday, <laughs> I, I left my job of 20 years. It was a gift to myself. I went stayed on the reservation for six months after not living there in 24 years. That was like horrible. No electricity, no um, running water. Um, yeah, there was just mold on the carpeting. It wasn't a safe place to live. And one night he was squirting lighter fluid into his fireplace and I slept in the living room. I was like, I, I've been through too much to go out dying in a fire on the reservation and I came to the YWCA. Being at the YWCA was like amazing for me. I was safe, I was warm. From the time I came in the door, it was like all the women knew me already. When I think about people coming to us on the worst days of their life, you have to feel so vulnerable. Vulnerability is also powerful. When you can share that with people you feel safe with. It's critically important to feel that support when you have not had that support for a very long time. Asking for help is like very difficult. It's very challenging to get over that thinking because it's been instilled for generations. Growing up on the reservation, I was told that you don't talk about domestic violence. Basically, you just tolerate it and hope for the best. When you look overarchingly of the statistics in Fargo-Moorhead of the amount of Indigenous individuals that live here, it's about 1-2% to of all of the population. However, across all of our programs between the emergency shelter and our supportive housing programs, it's 26% of who we serve. We have a variety of programming that is offered at the emergency shelter. Of course, shelter being uh, the first thing that we talk about, but we also have wraparound services because we don't think that you can just put someone in a home and then everything is great. And so we look at what those barriers are to individuals when they're getting back on their feet. I've discovered that I'm worthy and I'm loved and I have a lot of people who support me in my healing. I'm a human rights advocate and I um, support every cause for the underdog there is because I've been there. Tracy took every opportunity that we had and learned and worked and grew. Tracy is inspirational. 
they say the buffalo heads the storm head on like they don't turn away they just walk into the storm it was like I had I walked into my storm I'm grateful to have stepped into my purpose coming back to Fargo and coming to the YWCA and working on my stuff put me in that purpose. Mm -hmm.